Welcome to episode 3 of Euro Truck Simulator, Glasgow to Erford, pulling the infamous Babau tree. Good morning! I'm back in the, uh, the daylight there. There's my log over there. A little twig. It constantly amazes me how much detail there is in these trucks. I don't run that many custom paint jobs. This, uh, by the way, is a 50, uh, 50k paint job that comes with this uh, this truck. 62 plate, look. Well, that's slightly interesting, because I'm pretty sure I purchased it in Italy, so why it's got a UK number plate, I'm not sure. Unless that's not how it works. I must admit, not paying much attention. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack on. Uh, the dash lights, uh, dash displays a bit. Uh, it's a shame I don't know how to zoom in. I don't know whether you can uh, zoom in. Pretty basic it here. I'd say pretty basic. It's loud speakers. No taco. Uh, anyway, I've no idea. I can't can't quite see those cages. That's annoying. So I don't know what my air pressure's doing. Shouldn't be. Been here that long. Um, da -da 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 -da. Lights on. The hazards on. We're making a maneuver. This is switch beacons on whilst we're at it. And uh, crack on with picking up sticks. Now, while I am very, very fond of the V8 sound, the Scania's, the Scania V8's, that is. Nearly acceptable driver. Uh, I quite like the. Uh, oh, main beams and stuff. Quite like the uh, the sound of this trunk. Sounds quite good. I think uh, some of the bits that've been uh, putting out in the updates. Uh, CS have been putting out in the updates uh, for your own truck. Uh, I think they're in preparation for the release of the next DLC. The first one, of course, being Going East, which I'll have to admit, to this day, I still don't actually know what comes with Going East because I, uh, when I bought the game back in. November last year, is that about six months ago, something like that? Um, I uh, purchased it with Going East, so I've never known any, any different. I've never really looked into what it gives you. Um, but I'm very much which way am I going? This way, it's really good. Uh, very much looking forward to the next DLC, which is. Um, you know, I can't think what it's called. Going north? I don't think it's actually called that. Um, so, uh, Scandinavia, that's it. I knew it would come to me eventually. So that'll be uh, very interesting stuff. Uh, quite what that's going to do to my profile. I think I shall have to prep the game before I purchase that um, let's make sure I've got no garages and stuff I might have to get rid of Rust map I think maybe TSM 
to start with. I'm not sure the TSM will be compatible with it. I don't know. Actually, I think Rust map might be okay, but TSM might be broken. It's very hard to tell, of course, because it's not released yet, so I don't think there's any details out there in terms of a map. Could be wrong, though. But yeah, it should be interesting. Then, of course, hopefully, at some point this year, uh, we've got an American Truck Simulator. I've seen some bits and bobs that uh, no Squirrel did uh, some behind the scenes interviews with with the guys at SCS and they and he covered um, I think he did an hour or so on, on your uh, America Truck Simulator and it looks uh, looks good stuff to be honest uh, as much as I like the the modern American trucks in Euro Truck um, it'll be interesting to see uh, how different they are when they're officially sanctioned, which I think is one of the main stumbling points. I think there might be one or two of the manufacturers that, that remain to be convinced uh, regards licensing SCS using their, their um, company names and such. And to be fair, you can't blame them at all for, for dragging the hills or heels rather because uh, although it is a game you don't really you know if you, if you if you own a popular product you don't just want to plaster your name over any old rubbish so they've got to be sure that it's good and you know I'm sure it'll be good but they might not be familiar with it uh, with, the, with the brand the company SCS so uh, yeah I'm, I'm sure it's actually a brilliant time to work at SCS and I'm sure the guys are loving that because there's so many things in the pipeline and I think there have been for years and Euro Truck's been very popular I've come to it very late in the game so to speak um, but I really enjoy it no, They've got sort of such an awesome uh, ethos, for want of a better word. The company's got such great ethos regards the openness and almost transparency with the, the modding community and the, the gaming community at large, um, which is brilliant. In fact, of course, 50, uh, 50 Kido, who modded this truck, what's going on with these roadworks? It's going to be a bit tight, this car there. Oh, it's tight. Uh, 50 Kido uh, modded this truck. He now works full time for SCS. They uh, they saw some of the brilliant work he was doing in the modding community and offered him a job. So, uh, yeah, he mods trucks like this for a living essentially now. So that that's awesome as well for him. For the company um, and for us, the, the gamers. So uh, yeah, interesting times ahead. I want to pull out here, but there's quite a lot of fast traffic about. Makes it a bit more interesting. Goodness me, that was close. Oh my God! What the hell? <laughs> ah. Okay, right. Um, I can't wait to see the replay of that. There, uh, I'm not sure uh, what really went on there. Oh, I switched hazards on. <laughs> uh, Took me by surprise. Normally, I see these things coming. Um, I mean, I can't. I honestly can't remember which button it is to. Uh... Whoa, with the horn! There's no need for that, is there? Hmm, okay. Well, I'm going to try to get on the next one. I'm going to get on the next one. I'm going to get on the next one. Oh, I'm going to get on the next one. I'm going to get on the next one. I'm going to get on the next one. Oh, what's that? What's that? Surely you can't just get that train. 
Was it cap? Yeah, angle. Six six. Come on, got it. Come on, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, yeah, we'll be Hmm. Seems like I've the air traps. Keep up the trainers, huh? Hmm. 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 Uh, as it's off. Forwards and forwards. I, uh, kind of starting to get into this video making uh, malarkey. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. I would flash you, but kind of need the hands on the steering wheel. Hmm. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, it has lights on, I think. Uh, I'm gonna have space to I'm gonna spin it around there because I haven't got room to spin it around at the top here. Yeah, kind of getting in there, uh, really getting into this video making thing. I really enjoy the. Uh, the editing process as well learning new techniques and stuff always uh, oh cracky frame uh, a bit, bit of a, a lag scenario there what that was about up here I'm gonna get the uh, oh dear yeah f -f -f fluff that up on that So, I'm pushing that back a bit. Because I'm not going to be able to part that here yet. Can't quite judge how much space I've got there. Hmm. I think I may have got myself in a bit of a tight spot. Get out and have a look. I think it's quite a bit of room. I can turn that around there. Take a couple of shunts. Back in. Um. I'm trying to think how to do this. Oh yes, that's step one. Move forward a bit. Oh no, not too much. Clear the end of that trailer. I think I'm going to get myself stuck. I literally think it's too, too long. It should be clear now. Oh, was that me hitting something? Or oh, no, it's that is now. I could make it a little bit easier on myself by uh, disconnecting the uh, trailer. I'm just moving the tractor around, but that's kind of cheating. Yeah, no, I probably should have turned it around at the top here. Underestimated the length of my trailer. I'll have to go for the, uh, the long game, but this is going to be incredibly difficult. <laughs> I can't see where I'm going unless I'm turning there, so I have to find a guess. Anyway, I'll see you on the other side.
Well, there we go. Um, it doesn't look that good, but uh, it's a look. Straight. It's pretty straight. It's not bad. You know, I'm just trying to keep things tightly packed, but that's... I'll take that. The game's happy at that, so that's the main thing. Anyway, there it is. 20 tons of Bowab tree. Mr. JCB, do with it what you will. I'll tell you something, though, it's going to be one heck of a sideboard. Well, I suppose all that's left now is to unload. Damaged. Hmm. Debatable exactly how much damage I did to that giant piece of wood by... Ah, yes, there was the, uh, the slight uh, carriageway misalignment episode. Um, uh, ah, right, yeah, that's actually quite a lot of... Hmm. Cheers, then. Thanks. But, you know, I enjoyed... The, that's harsh. That is harsh. That is harsh. Anyway, I enjoyed it. Hopefully you did too. If you did, please click the like button. Please subscribe if you uh, want to see more of your Truck Simulator or Seto Corsa or Carmageddon or anything else. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.